as we stand here today, the world's population is at 7.8 billion people. That's projected to increase by 25% to 9.9 .9 billion people in 2050. That raises a lot of questions because it's going to put a huge amount of pressure on our food production systems looking forward. So at All Tech Coppins, we started a very big uh, project that really looked at not just talking about sustainability, but really quantifying how sustainable our feed ingredients are and how sustainable our finished feeds are. So we sourced the data primarily from the GFLI database, which is the Global Feed Lifecycle Institute database, in addition to the Blanc Institute database. These are large databases that basically uh, detail all the different feed ingredients that go into animal feed but they actually measure specifically sustainability parameters within each feed ingredient. So things like eutrophication, acidification, land use, etc. So we take that database and we use that data as our backbone for our feed scoring, but then we add to that data um, the specific needs of our business. So conditions such as how much feed we produce, how many different raw materials we use and how much of each of those raw materials that we use, um, where those uh, suppliers of those raw materials are located geographically um, and we tailor that basically according to our needs. Then we take our results from here at the ACAC where we've performed over 200 fish nutrition trials and we combine that all together into one large data set that we can then use to accurately quantify the sustainability index of the different feeds that we produce. Okay, so the four principles of all tech coffins are palatability, performance, pollution control, and planet. All of the research that we do here within the all tech coffins aqua center has to fall under all of those categories. By doing that, we ensure that the research that we do here is actually applicable to our feed formulation, but also to the needs of our customers. By ranking the feeds according to their sustainability index, we are actually directly applying data to the fourth principle of planet. And by doing that, we're safeguarding the uh, safe production of feeds and food security for the future years to come.